Hello, hello, Salaya here, and in this episode, we are going to set up a uh, oil export network. So we are going to build some railroad here and set up train and so on. And we are going to connect town of Trero workers with uh, their job, oil refinery, and set up some bus lines also to go here to Vira. But before we all do that, there is one problem we need to take care of. Now look at this thing here. Let's select this building and look at the look at the voltage here. So now we have a voltage and now we don't and so on and so on. Now I was actually thinking a lot about why is that happening. And here it is what I discovered. So look at for example if you go to this switch here you will see that this building has no power, it has no voltage but it has a wattage, so it has power but no voltage. So I was thinking after long watching why some of switches have power and some of them don't, I actually discovered what was the problem. As you see here, this place over here, this, this uh, switch, it has no power, it has power, okay, this one has power, but which one doesn't actually? Let's see some other one. Maybe this one here. Yeah, this one. This one has a problem with power. No. Anyways, I discovered that the problem is in the wattage itself. Why? Well, it seems that these power lines, these medium power lines, can transport only 2.2 watts of power. Let's actually unpause the game so you can see that. Actually, yes, we can see that. So look at this. This wattage here climbs to 2 point some megawatts, 2.2, 2.3, and then it drops. So what's the problem here? I discovered that problem is this. This medium wire, look at this, this medium wire can transport 2.2 megawatts of power, of electricity. So obviously, I think we have here like... Um, too much, too much, let's say, power, too much, too much uh, power users hungry for power and they are using more than 2.2 megawatts, so our line is uh, overloaded. I was thinking how to solve that and simply I would need to split up some lines, some users from different sources. For example, this here draws 2.2 megawatts. So let's go further down to see what happens next. What about this here? This here only takes 0 0.10. So how so? It goes directly from here. Okay, well this line, this line obviously doesn't take too much power. Just zero some megawatts, almost nothing. So something else draws a lot of power. Okay, let's check it out. Let's see. Maybe what about this one here? This one here also draws a lot of power. Okay, so let's see where does that lead? It leads definitely here. What about this part? Only point zero point three megawatts. Okay, so this is not a big spender of power. But here something should draw around two megawatts. Let's see. Up oh, here. Yes, so here we still have 2 megawatts of power drone somewhere and let's see where does it go. So we can maybe split it up somewhere and pull another wire from the transformer near sub station. 2 megawatts, okay so this is again too much. Here it splits up, so we have 2 megawatts here. Let's see what about the next one. What about this, uh, let's say, branch. 0 0.2 megawatts but it seems to be overloaded or something let's see why is that the case so what about this substation how much it can handle it doesn't say how much it can handle that's a problem all right but obviously nothing here draws too big power something on this side draws it maybe let's check that power uh, that uh, side out what about here Yes, something here still draws a lot of power, and let's see where. Again, we have a split up in two. Okay, so one side goes over the river. 
All right, I see. Oh, and lots of lots of it go there. All right, probably the pumps. Now, what are we are going to do? Here, I'm going to cut this line over here. Let's do that. So I want to cut this line because almost one whole megawatt goes over the river. So we're going to cut that line. And here power should come back to normal. Let's see. Ha! Huh. It still didn't actually. Why is that so? Nothing draws too much current anymore. Oh well, maybe pumps are connected on this side as well. So I guess now this side draws a lot of power. Yeah, let's see. So power line go from here, substation over here. No, actually it doesn't draw too much power. It's strange, let's see, what about this one? No. So I think power should be okay now. But as we, as we see, it still isn't okay. Something still draws a lot of power. Ha! Huh. Check that out. Here, the drain isn't too big. But here it still is. Yeah. How is that possible? We cut this line over here. Oh. We cut it over here, but we didn't cut it over there. And that's where the power drains a lot. Okay, so let's try to cut this line as well and see what happens. and all right so we've cut lots of lines as you can see let's see what about the power drain now power drain here is stable okay what about over here in the city seems to be stable what about here it was two megawatts it's just now 0.2 megawatts and we have a constant power over here yes we do you see now the voltage doesn't drop it's pretty much stable but Obviously, some place over here is without the power. Yes. Now let's bring power over here, but via a different route. So let's connect it over here, but from a different source. So more power we are going to bring there from somewhere here. But let's see from where. Should we bring it from a big power line or a smaller one? Well, let's try on a smaller one. I think it should be enough. Let's give it a shot. So let's bring some more power. Let's see where do these cables go. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So we might we might want to make a switch over there. Again, something draws 2.2 megawatts down there. I really don't know what draws so much power anymore. Well, let's try to solve that somehow. Let's cut this river line. It's already cut. What draws so much power over there? Let's see, does it still draw so much power? Yes, it does. But what does. No, it doesn't. Oh, is it a steel mill drawing the power? But nothing goes to substation from here. Oh no, wait, it dropped. Okay, sorry, it needed some time to drop. So it dropped and everything is pretty much stable. Okay. So let's see, what about our houses here? Do they have power? Does this have power? We cannot store or export prefab panels, okay. That's the problem we are going to need to solve later. Power here is stable. Alright, so we stabilize that. Alright, so what about power from this source? The whole megawatt goes here to this village. Okay. Okay. But where 
where does the the whole mega would go? It's not the whole mega. Okay. The whole mega would go somewhere else. It goes to the city. This line is cut, right? No, it's not. Never mind. So we should supply power from somewhere else, somewhere else here, obviously. So let's try to do that. Let's supply power here, but from somewhere else. So let's bring a big, long power cord. 13 megawatt. And I think we're going to be okay if we bring it straight from here. Yes, let's do that. So let's bring it from here. Like this. Okay. And then from here. Over there. All the way down there. Okay, it's going to cost a lot of money, but it seems we have to do it. And now let's build a transformer. We could actually build one switch over there, why not? There it goes. And then one transformer. There it goes. Connect these pieces. We also have now one free line over there. And let's see, do we have a power here? Yes, we do. We have 110 kilovolts and no users. And now let's connect from this line directly 2.2 megawatt medium wire from here to here. And it seems that the refinery and everything else is going to have power pretty well. Can we connect it like this? Yes, we can. Straight like this. Great. Okay, so let's see what happens now. Wow. No. Everything here draws so much power. Look at that. Still 2.2 megawatts. So what what draws so much power? Let's see. Where does this power go? Does it go here? Yeah, so only pumps actually draw so much power. Mm-hmm. Oh, 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 we have a problem over here, right? We definitely should choose some kind of thicker wiring. Should we? So how much of the power can we transport in these small lines? 0 0.6 megawatts, okay. 0 0.3. 0 0.5. Does it grow? Actually, it stays 0, 0 0.5. It stays that way. Actually, here everything has power pretty much. But what about here? Everything has power. 0 0.8 megawatts. Okay. Oh, 0 0.8 megawatts. But this line cannot transport that much. So we need to fix this line, make it bigger, actually. Let's see, can we just upgrade the same line? We don't have to break it, maybe. No, we cannot upgrade it. We have to break it. Okay. I actually didn't know that these pumps are going to draw so much power. But okay. We can't get oil for free, I suppose. And let's bring this wire over there. Bigger, thicker wire. Ah, like this. And now it should be better. Okay. So let's see how, how big drain is over here. Ah, actually it got much better somehow. Okay, well that's cool I suppose. So I guess everything has power now. Do you have power? No, you don't. What's wrong now? So we have a substation over here. You have no power. Oh, okay. How that happened? Did we cut some important line over here? It seems we did. Yes, we did. We cut the line over there. So let's bring a new line. New line over here from somewhere else. 
let's bring a new line directly from over there can we do that yes we probably will be able to do that so let's try to do that let's bring this two two megawatt line of this cool like this and there it goes There it goes. So now we should have power over here, and we should have enough of it. Okay, there it goes, there it goes. Very, very well. Do we have power here now? Yes, we do have power. Very good. And more workers are going to start coming in. Does everything have power? Do you have power? Do you have power? Okay, how big is drain over here? 1.2 megawatts, so is it going to work normally? It seems so. It seems so it doesn't need 2 megawatts anymore, it needs 1.3 or something. Okay, but it seems everything has the power now. Do you have power? Yes, you do. Okay, do you have power? Wool pumps seem to be working. That's pretty good. Do you work? You cannot store or export, why not? So you can operate without issues, but you cannot, and you cannot, are you connected well? It seems so. No, it doesn't seem so. Okay, I didn't know there are so many problems here. Let's try to disconnect this line and make a new one, so can we do that like... Can we do it from here? it a little bit yes we can okay what about can we turn it around like this yes we can so are you able to operate yes you are now it seems that something was wrong a little bit with the line are you working normally yes you are this one here works normally too this one here okay now it seems that all pumps work normally and that our power plug problems are pretty much solved. Okay. That's good. You don't work? Huh. Why? I sometimes don't get what's wrong with these pumps, honestly. Maybe it's connected in some kind of a wrong way. Let's try to fix that. Does it work now? It seems to be working just fine now. Okay, good. Do you have power? Yes, it seems it has enough power. Do you have power? Yeah. Okay. So you are operating fine. You, you, you here. What about you? We cannot, we cannot export. I mean, is, is tank full or something? What's happening? No, it's not full. I should be able to store lots of oil. Okay, so what's wrong with you? The line doesn't recognize. Do you have power? It seems so. Okay, so it seems that some of these connections aren't built well initially, so we have to kind of fix them a little bit. Which is not a cheap thing to do, but again, what can we do about it? Is it well now? Yes, it's okay. So can you export? Yes, you can. Okay, that's very good. What about you? What about you? Everything seems to be working well. So let's check these pumping stations. This one is, seem, seems to be connected well. This one here too. All connections are working. What about you? All connections working too? Alright, you. 
Alright, all connections work on all sides. That's great. What about you? Okay. What about you here? Everything works well? It does. You? Okay. Now it seems that all pumps are working well and we are getting as much as as much oil as possible from all of the sources. Okay. You? Huh. Something isn't connected well here for some reason. This output line is connected well. This input line is connected well. But uh, wait a second. This leads here. Bitumen. Okay. So it takes bitumen one side and it exits it on other side. Okay. But it seems that not all lines here are connected well. I don't know why. Input line is connected well. And only one output line is connected well. Is this one? No. So here, it seems that connection isn't good. For some reason. Let's try to fix it. I don't know why it's bad. Maybe because of this uh, angle of how I built it. Let's try to do that again. Okay, so let's check it out again. Now it's better. Now it should export fuel here. No, not fuel, bitumen. Yeah, now it works well. Alright, that's cool. And what about you? Everything connected well? Yes, it is. Here, yes. And finally here, yes. Okay, here too. So everything should be in order right now. So here we have fuel for export, here we have bitumen for export, okay. Here we have oil that comes in. I think we should have more workers, we're going to fix that issue right now. Here we have enough fuel and here we have bitumen gathering, collecting. Alright, now let's try to solve issue with workers. Let's try to send some buses from here and here to work. Let's see, does it have power? It does, it has enough power, but it needs more workers, definitely, so let's do that. Let's send like two buses from here and two buses from here. I think it's going to be just enough, or maybe just, well, two buses from here and one from here, because it's like really near. Well, let's try first with one and one bus, maybe. Okay, so let's pick some nice buses. Let's buy some in, in rubles. We have more rubles, as you see, so let's use them. My buses are cheaper. Should we buy Chavdar buses or something even cheaper? Let's see. Do we need a big speed for this? We definitely don't need a huge speed because mostly these buses go through town. So we can buy slow buses that will transport lots of people. That's, just, that's simply fair enough for this line because it's, the line itself isn't big. So let's try to find some cheap and decent buses for it. These Lias buses, Zeal buses are kind of very, seem to be very good for it, attractive for the job, because they're not very expensive. What about these, 55 passengers? Is this 63 or 83? 32, 80. Hmm. This might be a good option. Skoda might be a good option, definitely. So let's buy a few Skodas to transport workers. Let's get like three Skodas. Why? I'm going to put two of them from... Uh, I will explain. I will, you will see. Okay, so let's actually put two Skodas from here to here and one from here to here. So let's see how does that work. So you go from over here to over there. Get in, get out. I think everything is fair. Yep, it is. So you can go. And I will copy the same schedule to other bus. And the other bus will do exactly the same thing. So you're also going to go from that small platform to the bus stop 2. 
and you are you are dear friend going to go from here to here there he goes but as you can see we actually haven't completed our infrastructure over here why because I don't see any gas stations on the way and uh, we both can agree that we do need some of them, right? So, let's see what kind of gas stations do we have? Do we have a gas station here? Yes, we do. This is a bus station, okay? So, gas stations, gas stations. The last gas station is here. Is this a gas station or a bus station? What is this? Gas station, okay. So we're going to need few over here and over there. And I don't see any. Okay. We missed to build it earlier, but let's fix that right now. So let's build some of the gas stations. Because we are going to need them immediately. So let's try to do that. Let's see. What kind of stations can we build? Let's build the red ones now. So I think it's pretty much appropriate. It has enough space for it. So let's build... Uh, Let's build one over here. There is one near the city over there. And let's build one near the city over here. Can we? No, we can't. No, we can't. No. We can build it over here. I think that's a great place to build one. Let's build one in rubles, not in dollars. So... There he goes. And it also can connect with the power, which is great. And let's build one uh, in the other part of it, in the other end of the town, like over here. Good. And then let's build one somewhere here, maybe. We have parking lots, yes we do, but no gas stations. Okay, so let's build one gas station over here I suppose can we do that yes we can okay one gas station over here one gas station well actually let's start buses working already why not okay can we turn it around like this Yes, we can. Great. So let's build one gas station over here, one over there. And maybe we can manage to build one over here. It's going to be useful. Yes. Good. So some gas stations around. And maybe one over here directly. That seems to be kind of useful thing. Yep. Good. Maybe some gas station over here, where bus line will also go and deal with passengers. So let's build one gas station, one gas station, um, somewhere here maybe. Somewhere here one. And one of them in town. Maybe here. Can we do that? Oh, we can, it seems we can. Yes, we can. So one over there. Maybe a little bit in the end of the town, because that place can be used for something more useful for residents. So what about one here? Good, it works. One there, one here. One over there. I think we're pretty much covered. Let's see how our buses line work. So let's see. Do we have much many workers waiting here? We don't. And even this bus isn't really full of workers. Okay, so we kind of don't even need maybe two buses over here for now. But never mind. What about from here? Did, did, any, did anything pick workers from here? Let's see. This is the empty bus probably going over here. One is already transporting workers. Okay. What is this bus doing? Oh, he's refueling. It's refueling. Okay. 
So is this bus going to the destination? How many workers do we have? Not many. Okay, they need to refuel. They're slow. How many workers are waiting? Okay, enough. So another bus is going to pick them up soon. Are you going to refuel as well? Yes, you are. Okay. Okay, so somebody is going to pick workers up from here. Actually, let's add one more bus here, definitely. Do you see how many workers are waiting? Lots of lots of people. And it's probably not going to get better, it's going to probably get worse in time. So let's add one more Skoda to pick people up from here. And bring them to the oil refinery. And as many workers it has, as much we can sell. So I think it's a pretty good deal. So go from here to here and don't ask questions. Just do as you told. Because we like it that way. And pause the game. So bus is fooling up, right? And you know what? Maybe we can transport only workers here, nothing else. So no students, no passengers, only workers. And same for this one. No students, no passengers, only workers. Okay. Same thing for you. Only workers, no passengers. No students, same here for you. No passengers, no students, no passengers, no students. Just workers. We need workers here, people. We don't need something else. Okay, that's good. What about you? Okay. So, that's what we need. And only one more bus left to fix. Just pick workers. Students and everybody else will have other bus lines to go to other cities, not the oil, not to oil refinery. So let's see how many workers we have here. Now we have 119 workers, and the fuel production is skyrocketing. That's great. They can't even drain everything from here. Look, this is kind of full. Okay, so more workers are needed for this to work. Good. But how much is... How fa How quickly is this filling up? Actually, you would say it could be quicker. But it doesn't seem to be very quick. But what about these ones? Hmm. Okay. Well, it's still operating on 20% uh, of its capacity, I suppose. Okay, so let's see how, much, how many more workers are going to arrive. Eighteen workers are going to work, okay, and for this one, sixty-six workers, great. So lots of lots of people are going to work in oil refinery, which is awesome. People are going to work. That's amazing. These two tanks don't seem to be filling up very quickly. Why? I really don't know. Are we getting more workers? Huh. Oh, here they are. Okay, well, this refinery seems to be well fed. 
No workers are waiting here. Boss is coming to pick them up. And 90 workers here. However, here we have lots of people waiting. And that's not very good because we don't want our workers go over there. Or maybe we do. These train lines are going to need some fixing, honestly. We're going to do that later. For now, let's see does everything work well in our oil refinery. Okay, and we can actually try to bring more workers from... Straco. How about that? These people also... They need kindergarten and school and stuff. You know, let's first set up a uh, oil trade route. Let's do a save game here. And let's establish oil trade route so we can actually export this thing we are making. Or we are going to kind of drain all our money and not not have it anymore. Though not much oil is going here, honestly. But I hope that's going to be fixed soon. here so workers from nearby villages will definitely be employed over here but let's see first let's try to set up an export route we cannot set it here at least not by train but where can we can we can we set it up here can we yes we can but here we cannot are you sure no we can't here we can okay so here it is all right so shall we do that? Yes, it seems to be the best route actually. So let's establish one route like that. Okay, so it's going to cost us a lot of money, but what can we do? We need such a route. Let's... Okay, so we can... The old way, how is this going honestly? Never mind. Let's try to establish one in the quickest way possible. Honestly, it doesn't seem to be a very easy thing to do. Let's see, where is the quickest route possible? By the lake, through some mountains, and just down there, right? Right? Kind of. Okay. In the meanwhile... Let's try to close these two storages for now. Is it possible to close it down? Not really. Can you just shut it down? It seems we can't. You know what? Never mind. Let's set up the line first. That's going to be an arduous task to do. But let's try it. So here we go. Maybe a tunnel here would work. Oh, it actually would work, but it's kind of expensive. But what can we do? Okay, tunnel. And like this. Ha, huh, why would that be easy to do? about the railroad bridge. Do we have such things? Yes, we do. Oh, it works. Cool, let's bring a bridge over here and then just continue it with the rail. Still largest thing to do. Okay. Well, ok, 
Kaden Bridge. Pretty much I'm happy with it. With that deal. Okay, good. So let's continue the railroad from here if it's anyhow possible. Where do we need to take it? Uh, well, pretty much straight down there. Okay. And definitely tunnel is better option over here. So let's do that. That's that's an expensive tunnel. Oh, straight away. Cool. Okay, let's try to pass that thing over here. So far actually not much resistance. Everything builds pretty well. Amazingly well. Usually it's not so easy with the railroad. Pretty much pretty good. Okay, let's try to build a tunnel from uh, wow. from here to over there. It's going to cost half a, not a bridge, a tunnel. Come on. It's going to cost a lot, but it's going to work. Yeah. Okay, so it seems that we just need to adjust it a little bit over there. Let's do that. Huh? What about now? That doesn't seem so difficult, right? Right? It works good. All right, good God, we made it somehow. Good Lord, we completed our railroad. Unbelievable. Oh, but it cost us a hell of a lot of money. And maybe, the, maybe, maybe it doesn't even have a power. Honestly, hope it has. Let's let's let it build to the end. Because if that doesn't work, we are going to be bankrupt, which is not nice at all. Okay, tunnel is still being built, so that's why it doesn't have a power connection. Because tunnels seem to be a very slow thing to build. Hmm. 
No, okay, well, what can we do except wait and try to set up something else? Let's actually try to set up a train that will go and sell the oil around. Fire destroy the building. Train platforms. Okay, that was a that's a history. Okay. Let's also give our university something to research. We've totally forgot about that. Available research, semiconductors and advanced engineering. Let's produce these things, why not? Okay, that's good. They're working on it. Cool. And let's buy the train that will that will take everything to its sales point. So we built electric uh, electric railroad. Let's build electric locomotive. Which one should we buy? Something that can go very quickly. Look, this one can go very quickly. 120, 120. This one is even cheaper. That can go 120. 110, 160. And how fast is the railroad itself? Let's check that out. Railroad is 150 max speed. Okay, so we can buy something that can go 60. Why not? Electric locomotive 110, 160. Hmm. That seems like a pretty good deal. This one can go 60 as well, much cheaper. Hi, hey, we are going to buy this one. Yep. So let's buy this one. And let's buy let's buy a cargo wagon but for oil. So tanker. 120 120 tons of bitumen or fuel or whatever. Let's see, do we have something bigger? What about what about with these guys? Only cement truck. Okay, so let's buy here cargo wagon that can transport oil. 60. Well, basically it's this one. How many can we buy? One, two, three, four, five, six. It seems that we can get six. Well, we can transport lots of fuel that way. Do we have enough fuel? We don't. But we have enough fuel over here. We don't, but it's gathering. Really quick though, do we have workers here? Is everything working? Actually, I expected that more workers, we can master more workers, honestly, but it seems that this is it. How many workers are traveling? 29. How many workers are waiting? 21. You can't play sports, enjoy culture, what's... oh. Well... What is this? It's a school. Maybe we should put some football fields over there or a gymnasium. No culture, no sports, no pub to visit. Do we have a pub to visit? It's a small store. It's a grocery store. There is a pub. And almost everybody can go there. But some culture would be appropriate too, and some sports. Only 18 workers? Okay. It's not really, really a lot. Oh, from here we have 33 workers going. And currently we have 85 people working here. Okay, well, let's cut these lines for now, because we want to sell oil, we don't want to just gather it over there. So let's cut it, let's cut it over here, not all of it. Yep, let's cut it at the source, basically, or maybe here. It cut completely all the way. Alright, never mind. 
for now, let's just refuel this tank here and this tank here. If it, they're going to refuel quickly. Well, it still doesn't go ready very quickly. that more people are going to be employed in all this industry. As you see, it's not so many. Not so many want to fill this place up very quickly. I really thought that that's going to be quicker. But at least look look like our our railroad is completely electrified, which is good. I just hope that this oil is going to be produced well and um, sold well. Because it really doesn't seem to be produced very, very quickly. are arriving so I think it's going to be okay so let's actually try to send some Skoda buses from here because lots of workers are waiting to here maybe two Skoda buses and maybe quicker ones but this road isn't really quick so let's see how fast is this only 35 oh, we can buy some hmm, just any bus basically I don't know why. Let's try to discover what's the problem. We don't have a lots of unemployed people, okay, and they're pretty much productive, okay. 65. It doesn't say they can go to work. It seems they can. No kindergarten or places. Only 33 workers. Hmm. It seems that most people don't have a problem with going to work. They have some other problems, like pubs or something, but going to work aren't seem to be the problem so much, except for these guys over here. And unfortunately, they're not very near to any kindergarten. This one is full. Yeah, they don't have many nearby kindergartens. They have, they have lots of these places, like these uh, laundry places, which I... Uh, 
which I downloaded as a mod. How can they access the down there? It seems to be far away for them, too far away. Okay, well, what can I do? 33 people. About 10% of people with... I don't know. Nobody else does uh, seem to have a big problem with it. So, people are in a fernery. They work all day, all night. And they are sending oil and bitumen. Okay. Soon we are going to start... Why is this... Why well, is oil level lowering here? It doesn't get increased from the fuel storage. Let's see what happens when it drains up. Will they draw oil from the oil tank? Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Huh? They're not drawing any oil. Oh, they are. They're currently drawing oil directly from the tank. And actually much more oil is coming in that they can work with. So that means we simply need more workers. All right. We're going to try to bring some. Now let's try to bring workers immediately from here. So let's buy some buses that will transport workers. It can honestly be the slowest bus we can get. This is about 32 people only. This, this one is cheap, but it's not really good. Let's buy two zeals, actually. So, both of you guys, you're going to transport workers from here. From here to here. And yes, only workers, basically. thinking about something, maybe they could... already enough bosses are doing that. You know what, only workers from here to there, and that's it. That's it. Okay. Very well, so you can start moving, but I would like to copy your schedule. Good. And that schedule goes to another bus, your colleague, and that one does the same thing. That's it. So more workers will start coming in. Mostly people have a problem with supports. Let's try to buy them gymnasium from the mode. This thing over here. Let's try to place it somewhere uh, where most people will be able to access it. What about here? It's going to be near to mo for most people. It seems so. Maybe we can first build a little bit of a road over there. Like this. something that's not going to budge easily. Uh -huh. oh, it, it's going to work here like this. Cool. Okay. So, one little gymnasium should solve most of your problems. 
right, right. Not so easy. Ja. Oh, come on. The terrain is the problem now. Okay, let's try to lower the terrain now. <gasps> we paid a lot of money for it. Oh my god. How about now? It can work now. Very good. You get the power from anywhere? Yeah, we'll sure pay with it. We pay every rubles. Stuff, but it seems also no electricity. Uh, okay. Oh, what's wrong with you now? How, how, how is it you don't have electricity? You do. Don't lie. Okay, so basically every house can go here, except this one here. Alright, so let's... You cannot go to pub. Pub is here. Yeah, so... Culture. Well, I don't really care about the culture. Let's make one more sports place for these people. Let's buy, let's buy maybe a football field or something. There he goes. And put it over here. Yep. That's pretty well. That's good. That's great. Excellent. Okay, so I hope you can play football now. There it goes. Alright, cool. could start exporting something. Or is our railroad completed? It seems so. It seems so. Okay, dude. Let's get you selling something. But let's do that in another episode, actually. So this was a pretty good episode. Thank you very much for watching this. Train will start selling oil in the next episode. So see you guys like and, su like and subscribe if you like the video. Uh, click the bell notification button. Thank you for watching. See you.